Children love having an audience for their work, and this is exactly what podcasting provides, giving it very obvious applications for use in the classroom. I'm going to show you how to create a podcast from scratch, and how to share it with other people online. The first step is to create an audio file to share. This will become one episode of your podcast. I'm going to use free sound recording software called Audacity to produce my episode, and I'll record sound with my microphone. I'm using a USB microphone, so I plug one end of the USB lead into my computer, and the other end into my microphone. Once it's ready, I simply click the red record button and off I go. Hello and welcome to the latest Junior School podcast. This week we've got news from Year 6 on their residential trip. I've stopped the recording and of course the play button will play it back to me. Hello and welcome to the latest Junior School podcast. Once I'm happy with my recording, I need to export it as an MP3 file. And then I'm ready to share it online. To do this, I'm going to use the website podcastmachine.com, which offers free basic accounts for podcasting. Click to sign up and then create your account. Now I'm logged in, I click to create a new channel, which is effectively my podcast. Once my channel is set up, I click to create a new episode, making sure I include as much detail as possible to help improve its chances of being found by others. Finally, I need to click to upload a file and locate my audio file on my computer. Once the episode is uploaded, I'm ready to start promoting my podcast. This can be done with an RSS feed, a special type of file that updates every time a new episode is released. I select the type of RSS feed I'd like to use on the homepage for my newly created podcast. And finally, copy the link to the memory so it's ready to share with others. One of several ways of sharing the podcast is to submit the RSS feed to the iTunes store. To do this, click on Podcasts, select Submit a Podcast, and then follow the on-screen steps. Now anyone who subscribes to your podcast through iTunes will automatically receive all future episodes. Have fun creating your own podcasts.